Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to this episode of Before My Morning Coffee on Rebel Hearted. Lisa Freed here. And today what I wanted to talk about is the hidden wound and the challenges that they have healing. Yesterday um, was Thanksgiving Sunday here in Canada, and we were so blessed we were able to attend church services in person, and Pastor Rita was talking a little bit about how she had wounded her shoulder in a bike riding accident, and it had a mad case of road rash, and she didn't want to tell the story. She she called it a lame story to her coworkers, so she was wearing a long sleeve shirt over this road rash, and it was painful, and it wasn't healing properly, and finally she had to let it... Um, see some air, you know? Um, I know a lot of times when I was growing up and I would um, find myself injured in some fashion, my mom would always be like, you got to let some air get at that. You can't, you can't keep that hidden. And that sermon by Pastor Rita really got me thinking about what it's like for what it's like when we have wounds, when we have shame, when we have things that we want to keep hidden, how those things don't heal and how it separates us and keeps us lonely and longing for healing and comfort and connection, right? And how the world could be this better place if we had these safer spaces to share about these wounds that we keep hidden. Now, I know that if you've listened to my podcast for a long time or you followed me on social media or you're, heck, if maybe even you're a friend of mine in real life, what? Um, you will know that I... I've shared before that there was a time that I was sexually assaulted by my great uncle when I was six. And I didn't share that till I was 21. And I know that not sharing that traumatic event in a safe way with people that love me and care about me I ended up manifesting a bunch of different circumstances around, like the way that I spoke up or acted out or handled this situation um, from a six-year-old perspective was really, really challenging. And I still find there are ways that that affects me even today right at the at the young age of 40 so obviously um, many years later and I find it to be so true that there are so many things that we will want to keep secret from somebody to so as not to look imperfect or not to look like um, we need help or so that we don't look like we don't have it all together. We don't want people to see our messiness. And yet, when we open up and when we share safely, of course, with, with, the, with safe people, when we share about these circumstances, we find ourselves connecting on a deep level. Like we're not talking elevator or airline levels of connection. We're talking deep and rich levels of connection with people who have experienced similar things or people that are just willing to sit with you in that space. So if you have a wound that you're keeping hidden because you don't want to look less than, you don't want to look like um, there is something 
wrong or you don't want people to know that you don't have it all together in every area of your life or you don't want people to realize that you've ever experienced pain or trauma or tragedy or financial hardships or like stupidity in your 20s okay because that was a big one for me stupidity in my 20s I've been there so many times um consider sharing it with someone safe consider sharing it with somebody safe and if you're like hey I don't even know where to begin for a safe space reach out I want to connect with you the more that we can free ourselves of this burden of embarrassment or shame or any of that and the more that we can shine light on those areas that we wish so much to keep dark the more we're able to step fully into who we are and it's a beautiful beautiful thing so you by all means, reach out to me. You can find me, friedtlisa at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook, Lisa Fried Tea. You can leave me a comment where it is that you are listening to this podcast. I am more than willing to be a safe space to listen. I wish you a day as beautiful as you. And I will be back again tomorrow with another episode of Before My Morning Coffee. Bye for now, everyone.